Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is your true love reading for mid-month January 2021. Mid-month I do focus only on love. So, and if you'd like this reading just for your energy and the other person, you can book it on my website. It's called True Love Reading. The website is in the description below this video. All right, let's begin. So first card, you see this person as religious factors. I'm going to clarify all of these. Um, your love life, that your love life is being affected by your religious upbringing or spiritual path. Could be also age or culture, background, ethnicity, you know, uh, differences here. Even different religion. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation, this is what this person wants to have with you, a heart-to-heart. -heart. Honestly discussing how they feel. And I feel this is mostly about you have an idea of how the relationship should go and they have a different idea. Or, you know, they want to get married, you don't. They believe in marriage, you don't, or vice versa. Okay? So there's some... Even you could have came from a different... Um, upbringing which causes this uh, different these different beliefs okay so this person wants you to be um, open for heart to heart with them heart to heart conversation let's see the overall energy for Aquarius mid month January true love this is true love Okay, wow, this is a romance of a lifetime. Many lifetimes for some of you. What is the the positive in this situation, this relationship for Aquarius? Attraction. So the positive is that you both can enjoy do things in a moment and live in a moment. You both possibly even free spirit, you um these differences could just be that, you know, one feels uh, a certain a certain way, wants to do things a certain, a certain way, but I think that the overall energy, you guys are really in the moment, in the present, both of you, you're really enjoying each other right now, even, and you just like to do a lot of things together. It's really fun, maybe travel or do just, you know, hobbies even together. This is someone that is just perfect for you um, because they they are on the same, at the moment, on the same page as you in this and how they live, how they uh, want to live their life as well. But they could just be minor, you know, differences, maybe age or um different culture, different belief, and even the upbringing, you can see some differences here. The uh, obstacle is that there could be in the near future, someone feels that this is not enough, okay, this what you have, it's not enough, because it's, uh, like I said here, you living in the moment with this person, and this uh, could be you or them not really thinking about the future or just they don't want to think or you don't want to think too much about the future because you may have a different ambition or different um, you want to have a different lifestyle in the future or they do they, it's like not sure about the future yes I sense that Yeah, because in the moment is great, but someone is really unsure about the future with you or you are unsure about the future with them. How would this play out? So what's the outcome? Trust. It's calling you to have faith. The outcome for Aquarius this month. And, and true love. Their true love. Forgiving and learning. So there could be trust issues here from previous relationships or 
um, yeah, you know, it's about living in, in letting go of the past, releasing what hurt you in the past, or this is what this person is saying to you, and to enjoy the moment here, to experience more love in your present moment, and to trust, have faith, which, you know, with this unrequited as an obstacle, new love, okay, so this could be someone quite recent, because you do need to forgive your past, possibly, they want you to trust the now with them, and this is a new person, let's see, and clarify, uh, they could want to just give this a new beginning, have a new beginning with you, because uh, maybe you uh, separated right now. One of you is still the ones that are have this pain, still uh, holding on, angry, still angry about this person. They could be angry about you know what you've done to them or you, heartbroken. They want a new beginning with the new love card. They want you to trust, die, and forgive them. But for others, if this is someone quite recent, yeah, there could be uh, a few differences. Let's clarify the religious factors, Aquarius. True love. Okay, we've got justice. So this is about marriage. Yeah. Um, could be a Libra. All right. So what I'm getting here. Uh, with the justice card, putting things right, doing things, someone has their, you know, they they believe that things have to go and have to be a certain way, but when they let go of that, it's so great between the two of you, when they relax and enjoy the moment, you know, but I feel some, one of you, it's really about, oh wow, what's going to be in the future, I want this to be right, I want to get married, I want to have children, or I want things to be here even balanced between the two of you. Could be that there is that unbalance because of the these factors. So you see them. They could also be married, okay? For some of you dealing with someone that is married with the world card. Okay, so the justice and the world card, different language different speaking a different language some of you you have maybe they live um, came from a different country or are in a different country this libra astrology country let's see what do i get here for you um <clears throat> so this could be someone with connections or you with connections to a libra country which is France. Okay, we've got Argentina, China, Japan, um, Lisbon, which is Portugal. That's where I'm from. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so Uganda, we've got Israel, Nigeria, too. So there's quite a few in Saudi Arabia, St. Lucia, so you know it could be just you know your parents, their parents, so a few here, a few um, countries and also Nottingham is in, in the UK, a city, yeah so I, I have that for you, some of you may find that connection there, they could live there or come from there, have some the nationality, parents, nationality, or yours. So, you know. so let's see how to our conversations. What do you, what do they want from you? From Aquarius, what do they want from Aquarius? Yeah, they want communication. They want to have a heart to heart with you. They want to speak to you, Aquarius, to resolve whatever is going on, to put things right with you. Yeah, we've got, the three of pentacles and 
the Queen of Wands. So for some of you, the ones that you're dealing with someone that is already married, okay, or has someone else, it's definitely here. They want you to be more outspoken about, you know, what you want to do if you want to uh, let go of the third party to be with them or, you know, they uh, they want to uh, just let you know if they have, if they even married, let you know about this uh how could you work this out and um because there is true love here they feel it but not for all is a third party so i do see that they want you to be more with the queen of wands more active more motivated to work it out with them okay which is this communication that they want you to be more active in communicating and trying to work it out with them trying to find a way to put things right Okay, they may also want you to, uh, this is a job, so maybe you have like a, a, a project that you want to do or you to, even they could want you to work with them or to work uh, in a project with them if you, you're already working together. Yeah, that's that, they, want, they really want to... Um, Oh, okay, so you could work together for some of you <clears throat> and they want you to have more passion in your, you know, to notice them and be more passionate, not just so serious because the Queen of Swords can be quite serious or detached and just talk about, you know, money or, or talk about um, work, the work. So you, you, you just speak about work or finances and there's no passion there. So, they want you to be more passionate. True love, let's clarify what's the overall energy here for Aquarius. The true love, moon of January. Yeah, look, nine of cups. So, this is like a wish come true. It's everything that you desire, possibly in a person you've... Uh, well, you know, I feel this is them. They they wish this is your their wish fulfillment is you. Now the King of Swords could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, they want to tell you how much they want this connection as as well, this relationship, this love, and they don't want to give up. They see you giving up. They see you giving up, though. Yeah. They don't want to give up. Um, <clears throat> attraction was the overall here. The positive in this relationship. Yeah, the attraction. You do have a strong attraction here. Um, chemistry, sexually, I mean, it's there. It's very strong. You uh, both have a lot of fun together and in the bedroom. <laughs> the Hierophant reverse, but this is a no commitment. Oh no. Yeah, that could be, again, the religious factors. You see the Hierophant. Others uh, as well with the Five of Wands. That could be this. these arguments about religious fact is about commitment about marriage that really um you know i sense that this is a more of a, a lover's type you know enjoying each other with no labels no yeah someone but they truly love you though they truly love you i mean it's just the way they think the way they believe things should be in love that's the relief if you don't think like that or this is you how you think and they and they they think they think things differently i see as well that if this person they're fighting for you to get a divorce if you are in a in already in a relationship for the ones or whoever you know both of you kind of trying to um fight this, you know, uh, oh, I want you to be all for me, and even though it's, you know, it's true love and the attraction is great, but 
there is not really plans for the future and maybe some of you don't want to let go of the other person because you fear that there is no future here or vice versa they could fear of you know ending a commitment that they have for a long time or they had i mean it's still here not for all like i said it's just for the ones that can resonate with that with that message fighting for divorce and the the others that are not married and that doesn't resonate uh, about the third person it's really fighting for commitment someone is really fighting for marriage to want a commitment what's the unrequited love as an obstacle aquarius and the true love patience reverse so someone is this is divine timing and the page of cups reverse so the so sagittarius cancer scorpio pisces we've got taurus libra gemini aquarius like yourself Aries sign and you see uh with time they feel with time this is this is are you not gonna love them forever or you know they sense that <clears throat> emotionally feelings that could change you know feelings could change it's crazy because you know the love is there Ten of Cups reversed. Maybe you've already, um, yeah, this is someone that doesn't believe that. Possibly they don't even believe in happy ever afters, you see. They don't believe in happy ever afters. And it's not because it's with you, it's just they don't believe it. But they, they have true love for you. So I'm going to take some of the messages that they want to say to you <clears throat> or you don't believe in the happy ever after and that's why you kind of, you know, um, rejecting this and not open for a more committed relationship. Um, before I clarify this in the, out, in the, extent, <clears throat> in the extended reading, oh, my voice is going. I will take some messages and you can watch the extended reading by becoming a member of the channel. Everything is in the description below this video. I also put in a comment in the comment section. <clears throat> let me take, let me have some water. <laughs> and see what are the messages for Aquarius, what they want to say to Aquarius mid month, January. purpose so you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love so they want they they feel that it's your uh you have to demonstrate more love to them that it's uh you know it, it's the purpose of the relationship to be more yes because they see you as the queen of swords okay detached without the with the queen of rods reverse so you can be very detached sometimes to to this person and they they feel like your purpose is to be more uh, uh, dedicated and demonstrating more and more i'm just passing the message i know you can say oh i do it i do it but this is what they feel they think what they are telling you they want to tell you that you you know consciously or you know yeah possibly with your words as well you can be quite uh, detached or and they want you to to work things out you have to demonstrate more love so this is what this person is telling you Aquarius what else two more cards what they're telling Aquarius what they want to tell Aquarius expression you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love you see they really want you to express more love i mean two cards one more
kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. So they want you to be more kind. <laughs> I'm not saying that you're not, but to them, this is what they want from you. Kindness, being more, you know, in tune with your with your emotions. I'm sure you are, but you uh, air signs can really hide their emotions very, you know, very well. And especially if things are not going, you, you know, I'm not saying that not going your way or you have different beliefs in what you want. So you're kind of putting your foot down, I feel, here because you want, you want your way or you want, you know, you just have a certain belief that things should be this way and they have another or they so different from you in terms of you know how they were brought up morals religious uh, beliefs and you know that it's um it puts you in that energy of not expressing so much not being so passionate with your words and you know the intention to show this person love so let's see what will happen in the outcome. I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you very soon again. Aquarius, take care. Bye-bye.